Oh, hey guys, it's everyone for now. Welcome back to another collection update video. I hardly do these anymore. If you want more of these collection update videos, guys, I'm kind of behind the scenes on my channel. Smash the like button, subscribe, and notifications turned on. If you watch this video from start to finish without skipping through the video, you're part of the awesome squad. Now, thank you guys seriously so much for all the support. Remember, at 3K, we are doing a giveaway in the top right hand corner of this video right here. You can also check out my main channel go subscribe there as well um yeah so i'm pretty much just going to show you guys a tour of my toy collection room as you guys can see there's a bunch of shit behind me etc so uh first off we're going to start with the uh the uh there's a lot to show guys so we're going to start off with the backstage that i kind of just created um I wanted to make like a janitor type uh, themed, like make like a janitor's room or something, but I don't know. I put kind of like uh, just extra doors and stuff back here. Usually I have my accessory bin, which is right there with all my accessories, um, whatever I need. I got it right in here, um, and it just keeps getting just more full and more full every day I swear um but uh, yeah so I kind of just use what the basics what I had um to kind of make like a cool backstage you guys have seen this on my WC in the series show a couple of times um but yeah I put some benches back there some garbage cans put like a little coffee set up here um put a random bunch of brooms I ended that last night along with these two um mop buckets and a mop got the trash can I got the sort of machine obviously got the backstage mayhem play set um, from Jack Specific, and you also have another backstage brawl Jack Specific playset. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, you got little TV monitors over here so the uh, wrestlers can watch what's going on in the ring, or just productive, and you got some speakers. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the backstage. A lot hasn't really changed over here, guys. Kind of had the same boring setup. I have a couple of fakes on the wall. Got an autographed X Pac right there. If anybody's new um, to the channel, I collect a lot of old school wrestling stuff and some new Mattel stuff some you got you know the WF uh, Real Sounds Arena Smackdown version you got the real metal arena Vengeance metal arena um, all my Titantron live figs well most of them anyway the ones that are in really good condition you got uh, some uh, box sets down there Titantron um, some of the TNA and WCW figs excuse my voice crack Probably one of my prized possessions right there. The huge Superstar Signature Series Collection Edition box set. Toys R Us exclusive. Um, well, no, it's not, Toys R Us, not a Toys R Us exclusive. It's just a Toys R Us um, box set. Some random figs up here. You got the, mostly the tag teams like the Hardy Boys, Stully Boys. Um, too cool. Some other box sets back there. Then you got the break room brawl play sets, and this is mostly my grapple gear collection because I am a grapple gear freak. I love grapple gear so much, and this is all my mint on card stuff so far, along with that mint on card piece down there. Let me show you guys really quick. So here's that grapple gear piece that I just showed you guys. Well, not just showed you, but that you couldn't see. Got the stop sign, wheelbarrow row, and then you got the little piece of concrete that you put in um, on the bottom of that stop sign. You got the a little bit of a barricade. I really wish that was breakable. That would have been cool, but it's not. But that police sign over there is breakable in that box. That's, that's, oh, my God. I can't even see. It's that box right there. So pretty cool. Um, Let me put this guy right back. Actually, I'll put him right back after the video. But pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm not trying to be boring. God damn it. I promise you. I'm not trying to be boring. Uh, I got a random backstage brawl place that over here that I kind of just made a locker room. We got Sabu, the hardcore extreme champion. Who's going to take his titles? We have no idea. Um, um, down here, you got some of my, uh, most of my elites and my Mattel figs. I know the lighting is very shitty, guys. It is it is what it is. I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, these are my most of my top accessories that I use for my wrestling shows. So they're on the bottom shelf so I can just grab them and go. Same thing with the back behind the, the Tron and all that. Um, here's where all the magic happens, guys. Best part of the lighting in the room, and on top of that, I actually had extra lighting over here with my lamp and uh, make my wrestling shows. So, indie series and uh, WT wrestling episodes. So, obviously, you can see what I'm planning over here, kind of. Um, some of my weapons underneath the ring that I keep. Uh, obviously, you guys know that I'm a huge fanatic for 
Ruthless, Ruthless Aggression and uh, Titantron Lives. So those were my Titantron Lives, Ruthless Aggressions. I have so many of them. Yeah, it's just a huge, big-ass shelf. Um, if you guys really want to get in the detail, please smash the like button, and I will do so. Um, oh, yeah, I put my Mankind figure up there. I think it's a classic Supercharged Mankind. Freaking awesome. Um, I put some more stuff up here as well. You guys probably haven't seen this. Um, yeah, my, you know, my Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy 2-pack. Edge and uh, Christian 2-pack. You got uh, King of the Rings Saturday Night Heat. Uh, Rikishi and uh, Kurt Angle. My favorites, Undertaker and Kane. Bone crunching action. Two tough four. You got Owen Hart and The Rock. Probably one of my prized possessions as well. Classic Superstars Limited Edition Champions Series. Uh, Bret Hart, Rock, and uh, Shawn Michaels. Edgy McWedgy. And then you got uh, Shane, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and Vince. Rock and Stone Cold and Undertaker and X Pac over in the corner. That's just a cluster fuck up there. You have so much stuff up there. Like a lot um, of stuff. A lot of rare boxes. Not boxes, a prop box that as well. That uh, House of Pain prop box set right there. And I kind of just have that in display. They're all. So I have. That right there is the Break Room Brawl prop box. That's meant on card. I have it. And I also have a loose. So. More grapple gear back there. Um, I'm not going to bother showing you back there because it's dark. So, um, got Super Stunners, um, Undertaker, Kane, and uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think I should get the other three, which is Christian, Edge, and Gangrel. And they're Titan Tron Live figure for the Girl in the Dark. And the reason why the Big Show is up here is because I think Mattel messed up. Because uh, Big Show's tattoos are not painted. So the lion, or the tiger right there, excuse me, the tiger, um, the tiger is supposed to be painted along with that tattoo and his leg tattoo. And he's supposed to have like TKE or something on this this uh, leg. So I'll show you. Now here's the big show that I use on an indie series. Obviously his tattoos are painted. Well, besides that one. Um, but that tattoo is painted and he's got the TKE. So I don't know if Mattel messed up. Or what? Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think. Underneath this table, by the way, is my shipping. Which I have all of my shitty figures that I play with or beat up off camera to kind of get into um, the wrestling figure spirit before I record. And this is my shipping. This is all the figures that I own that are just kind of chilling in this bin um, that are all beat up and can be used for just figure fun off camera. Got some of my Animal Planet stuff over here. This whole bin is just full of, like, Animal Planet stuff on top of dinosaurs. Um, you know, Jurassic Park figs. Actually, this box right here is full of all the new Mattel Jurassic Park dinosaurs. That I kind of just collect, kind of have. Those are the ones that I play with for, like, animations and stuff. And then I have the vintage stuff in the case. Um, again, this is all my just steel chairs. I got other accessories for wrestlers. Um, tables, ladders, and chairs mostly in here. Uh, big accessories that I usually can't, um, like a mattress. Uh, like wheelchair set, stuff like that. That is really hard to fit in the smaller totes. And then down here, it's just a clusterfuck of other stuff. So, um, Over here, in this small little tote thingy. Well, not a tote, but more like bin. Uh, bins. These are all my guns and accessories for, for the uh, Leonard Corpse action figures, the Animal Planet play sets, stuff like that. Just a bunch, a bunch of random accessories, you know, nets. Just a lot of good stuff for animations. Um, this one's just a bunch of the small vehicles, like the random choppers, bikes, stuff like that. This one I have not filled up yet. Let me know in the comments below what I should fill in that. Over here, probably one of my prized possessions. I absolutely love this case. You guys can see me in the background. Hi. Um, this is probably one of my most prized possessions. This is all my vintage Jurassic Park action figures so far in play sets. Um, if you guys want me to really get in detail on this stuff, please smash the like button. Let's get to like 80 likes on this video. Um, and let's blow up the comment section. I want to know. Obviously, that's the Lost World Jurassic Park 1997 um, RV play set. 
with the exclusive, uh, I forgot her name, I think Kelly, Kelly figure, um, and two random dinos. Down here, this is almost the whole entire Series 1 of Jurassic Park, the very first release. Um, you got the young T-Rex. All of them have the actual pieces that go with it. Um, yeah, so you got that. The Roar and Stomp T-Rex back there. I think it's, I don't know, it's electric one. Electric Roar or something like that. But uh, it works, and it was a lot of money. Uh, you got the Triceratops back there. Everything is all complete here. Even though it's loose. Because um, loose is less expensive than mint on card. You got the Celiophysis. You got the... Uh, uh, what are they called? Dimor or not Dimorphodon. What the hell are they called? Uh, I'm so pissed off. I forgot the name of these dinosaurs right here. I think it's like a Diplo. I forgot what they're called. Diplo. I forgot what they're called. It pisses me off because I know my shit. Um, but these two, uh, these two dinosaurs right here are the Dino, dino Screams. You got the Velociraptor, and then you got the uh, Dilophos Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus, that's what they're called. So that you got the Dilophosaurus there. You got the other Dilophosaurus right here, um, and that one spits water. Um, you got the Jurassic Park um, pterodactyl. And then over here, we have the action figures from Series 1. Don't mind the Lost World of Lost Raptor. I bought the wrong one, which really pissed me off with all the equipment. I didn't get the original one. Oh, it's the original one, but it's the Lost World. It's not Jurassic Park, the first movie. Um, you got uh, Dennis Neardry. You got uh, Muldoon. You got uh, Alan Grant, Timmy, and Allie. Or, I forgot her name. Oh, my God. I, this is terrible. Um, but, yeah, you got all the dinosaurs right there that they come with. The equipment's all in that truck. Also, you got the... Humvee, uh, Jurassic Park, The Lost World, not Jurassic World, The Lost World, Humvee playset with a capture, uh, capture accessory, so it's complete, um, again, I'm not really gonna show all of it, but that's mostly my vintage collection so far, if you guys want to actually pull everything out, please smash the like button, and then obviously I have my Mattel dinosaurs, so... because I'm a huge freak for Jurassic Park. I love Jurassic Park as much as I love wrestling, guys. So, and then I kind of have that right there, my little Jurassic Park matchbox car. I thought was pretty cool. I have to get that still. I also have to get the Jurassic Park compound center, and this is the mobile command compound center. Um, so I need to get the original, but um, that is just a nightmare to find complete. And then my new, brand new setup, my brand new case here, and I opened it all up for you guys so you guys can take a look-see. Um, I just have Leonard Corpse randomly just, um, because I love the action figures and I love the, uh, all these figures. They're cheap, they're fun to play with, and they're fun for animations. I just kind of have, like, Alien vs. Predator, um, set up, like he's getting his helmet ripped off. You know, just stuff like that. People are getting eaten by aliens. It just looks badass. You know, when you come in this way, it just looks sick. Um, he's destroying that other equipment that that guy's in. So, looks awesome. And then over here, we have like a more of like a Jurassic Park type setup. So you got this guy right here, kind of protected. Um, he's getting flagged to open up the door because they just caught a new dino. Obviously the Triceratops, again, this is Mattel. These are Mattel Jurassic World toys. Um, well, the dinosaurs are anyway. You got this guy over here trying to zap the Velociraptor back into the cage, where you see all the other Velociraptors that are in the cage. Um, then you have the other guy over there capturing the, uh, God damn it, I forgot his name too. Ah! Anyway, but capturing this dinosaur, I'm so sorry guys, that's cringy. I know my shit, I promise you. I just so exhausted I can't even think right now. Um, so let's go ahead and go down here. Um, next up we have the, again, uh, Leonard Corpse mixed with Sentinel-1 figures. Because uh, I'm a big fanatic for these guys too. Got like a little war going on. He got shot. He's throwing a grenade. Excuse me for the voice crack. I'm practically pubescent apparently. Uh, this guy just got shot out of the tank. And he's reloading his gun. He's shooting him. He just shot him. 
and uh, they're just kind of over here getting out of the chopper. Get to the chopper. So yeah, um, pretty awesome. And then last but not least, probably a lot of you guys are gonna freak out about this one. This is the uh, pretty much my ocean setup that I fell in love with. Um, I don't know if you guys can probably see that. Hold on a second. Wow, guys, I apologize. Um, I don't have any lights. So, um, but, yeah. So this is like the my ocean animal setup and like my animal planet setup. So underneath the, the sea here, I'm going to try and zoom in for you guys so you guys can see. But there is a scuba diver right there. I can actually take him out because he can, you barely can see him. Um, so let me go ahead and just grab him really quick. So you got him all set up. Um, you got the sharks, like this is kind of like the bottom of the ocean, um, with a shark cage. You got some crabs on top of it. He's got crabs, by God Almighty, but no. He, uh, there's crabs on top of there, a little shark cage. He's taking pictures, a scuba diver, taking a picture of the shark, eating the fish there. Um, and then you also got that guy in the, uh, the, the researcher in the, uh, submarine over there getting information and kind of just researching the uh, sharks. Uh, you got this guy about to shoot the net into the water. Um, he just caught a shark. Barely can see him, but there's a guy right there. Um, and he just caught that shark bringing it into the boat. Um, so yeah, guys, that is pretty much my brand new setup for um, everything. My toy room and all that. So if you guys want more videos like this, please smash the like button, subscribe, the notifications turned on. So you guys never miss an upload. Um, and just thank you so much for all the support. It really means a lot to me. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed recording it. If you guys want me to do more videos like this with better lighting, please smash the like button. You guys got to show me that you want more of these videos. So you got to smash the like button. Subscribe, the notifications turned on. And uh, yeah, I will. Um, don't forget to stay awesome. See you guys later.